Let's talk about adapalene and how it works. Here's everything we're going to talk about, timestamps down below, and a short quiz at the end. So let's do a quick overview of adapalene. Adapalene is actually structured after vitamin A, which is also known as retinol. You could see the chemical structure does closely resemble adapalene. And why that's important is because of the way it works, and we'll talk about that in more detail later. Now, adapalene is primarily used for acne, but we'll talk about that in more detail later on in the video. And a big thing is adapalene also comes in multiple dosage forms. It comes in a cream, a lotion, a gel. These are different ways that we could use adapalene on the skin for topical administration. Now that we know a little bit about adapalene, let's dig in a little deeper. So how does it actually work? So again, we said adapalene mimics the vitamin A structure, and the reason for that is it can bind to DNA receptors that are on the surface of the skin, and what it does is it helps in twofold. One, once it attaches to these DNA receptors, it could help with skin cell development or skin cell differentiation, which is a big byproduct when it comes to figuring out acne pathways and how to resolve acne. It also actually helps in the inflammation process. So as adapalene or vitamin A attached to these receptors, it'll help reduce that inflammation, which is something we do see in patients with acne. So we understand that adapalene attaches to these DNA receptors, but it's one thing to know what it does. We understand that those receptors are there and that they do bind, but we don't actually know the full mechanism of how adapalene and this receptor react. So something with medicine is we are constantly learning. This is something that is still not fully understood, but we do know the process of what it affects and what it causes. So let's talk about when you actually would use adapalene. So the first one, obvious, we've said it multiple times, is for patients that have acne. The medical term is going to be acne vulgaris. And remember, it's a topical product, so we would apply it directly to the face or wherever the acne is developing. Sometimes you'll see adapalene in a combination product or used in combination with something called benzyl peroxide. And the benzyl peroxide is basically a way to eliminate bacteria that's on the face that might be causing the acne, so they would be used together. But not always. Another indication that you could see adapalene being used is in patients that have something called rosacea. This is where the face or the cheeks are red, not because of acne, but because of an inflammatory process. This is an off-label indication, meaning it's not primarily used for rosacea and it's not cleared for this case, but you'll still see it prescribed sometimes because remember, the process in which adapalene works is it helps in that inflammatory process, right? So it makes sense that patients with rosacea can benefit from this drug. Again, it's not first line, it's off-label, they're better off using other agents like topical bromonidine. But let's say if a patient has acne vulgaris and they also have rosacea, well, guess what? Two birds, one stone, this might be the go-to. Now that we know when to use adapalene and how it works, let's talk about kind of the dosing for it. Now remember, it comes in a cream, gel, or lotion. It's all topical. It does come in a 0.1% to a 0.3%. So you always want to start with the lower end and work your way up. Adapalene is always applied at nighttime. And there's a reason for that that we'll get into. And then you'll also have to tell patients it takes anywhere from two to three months to see the full effect. A lot of people with acne, they want a right now cure. Unfortunately, it is a process, right? Nothing works overnight. It's going to take a while for those nuclear receptors to activate, the inflammatory process to diminish. So make sure you set your expectations right. Two to three months to see the full effect. And remember, Depending on the severity of the acne, you may see patients that are on a stronger prescription, right? Sometimes they'll add that benzyl alcohol that we talked about. It's all patient specific. It depends on the severity. And then 
will see the effect and will adjust as they go through the process. So let's talk about some of the side effects that we could kind of expect with adapalene. Any cream or any lotion or any topical will typically see redness because we are applying to the skin. It could irritate the skin. That's pretty common. You could also see burning, a tingling irritation feeling. Remember, sometimes acne is almost like an open wound and you're applying medication directly on top of it and it could irritate it and make it burn. Because it affects the skin, sometimes you will see that skin dry up and you'll have that skin dryness. And then the most important thing here is the sun sensitivity. If you apply adapalene and you go out in the sun, you're more prone to sunburn, which damages the skin. And that's why we apply the adapalene at night. We want to mitigate any sun exposure or sun damage to the skin. Let's do a quick recap to see what we retained. So we said adapalene, we know it's a retinol structure because it looks like vitamin A. The reason for that is because it can bind to the DNA receptors that are on the skin. And when it does that, we know that it'll help in two ways. One, it helps facilitate skin cell development. And two, it aids in the inflammatory process to reduce inflammation. We know adapalene is used for two indications. The first one that's actually indicated is acne vulgaris. The second one we see off-label was rosacea. We know adapalene comes in three different dosage forms, the cream, the gel, and the lotion. And when you use adapalene, you have to be careful because it could cause redness of the skin, irritation, skin dryness, and then increased sun sensitivity. So that's why we apply it at night. And now let's take a short quiz. What is the brand name of Adapalene? Which vitamin structure does Adapalene mimic? Which is a unique side effect for Adapalene? What are the two ways adapalene works when binding to the nuclear receptor? Thanks for watching. If you learned something, consider subscribing.